Economics, Financial Incentives and a Sustainable Working Life Economics and financial incentives constitute a driving force to reach the organization's and enterprise's goals, as well as for the work that employees execute in the workplace. The aim of the employee's work in the organization or enterprise is to reach the goals of the organization regarding production and budget. The manager's task in this is to work for reaching the goals of the organization or enterprise and, among other things, ensuring that employees remain employable, execute their work tasks, perform based on the needs of the organization, that they have the right and sufficient competence, that they feel secure and f experience a sense of participation in the organization, that they are motivated and stimulated to contribute to executing and developing the organization and the productivity, that they are not affected by ill health through their working life. Therefore, preventive measures are of great importance in order to avoid loss of production and increased costs for the organization through illness, injury, sickness absence, loss of capacity, loss of productivity, fines and penalties due to shortcomings in the work environment, the need of new recruitment if the employees are physically and mentally fatigued, ill or injured, or that employees simply do not wish to keep working due to discrimination, disregard, lack of support, lack of motivation and stimuli, or because their competence is not utilized or if it's insufficient and they are not giving the opportunity of competence development. According to registry studies and statistics, about every fourth person has a diagnosed illness or injury that has been caused by their working life. Ill health caused by working life is so common that it can be perceived as one of the largest public health issues. There is a whole deal that stands outside of work today, and the diseases and diseases are very many. Under det första kvartalet 2017 så var 176 590 personer sjukskrivna i Sverige enligt Försäkringskassans sjukfallsstatistik. Och det visar sig att de psykiska sjukdomarna, syndromen och beteendestörningar, alltså det diagnosområdet, det var det som där flest var sjukskrivna för, det diagnosområdet. Men också som nummer två var det då sjukdomar i muskostelletala system och bindväv. In Sweden, the largest areas of diagnosis and sickness absence are mental illness, syndromes and behavioral disorders, which constitutes 46% of the cases of sickness absence and primarily affects women aged 30 to 44 years. The second is musculoskeletal illness, which constitutes about 18% of the cases of sickness absence and primarily affects men aged 50 to 65 years and above. A work injury is an ailment a person has contracted through their work. A work injury can be a work-related accident caused by a sudden, non-desired event in the workplace or where the employee works. Work-related accidents also include traffic accidents to and from work. Furthermore, a work injury can be a work-related illness, which can be caused by long-term exposure to risk or strain in work, caused by tear, allergy, fatigue or hearing impairments. Furthermore, 
work-related illnesses includes contagions contracted through work. Work injuries, in other words, work-related accidents and work-related illnesses, causes suffering and financial costs for individuals, for enterprises and organizations, as well as for society. Please take a few moments to consider and reflect on the following questions. What could be causes of risks, work injuries and sickness absence in your workplace? Are there measures that the manager can take in order to increase the possibility of the employees remaining employable through changes, reorganizations and replacements? Being able to execute their work tasks in a better way. Performing based on the needs of the organization. Having the correct and sufficient competence. Feeling secure and experiencing a sense of participation in the organization. Being motivated and stimulated to contribute to the execution and development of the organization and productivity. Not contracting ill health through work. 